And good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another fun edition of Tuesday with Todd. I'm not Tuesday with Todd. Whoa, morning mindset. I don't know where that came from. I hadn't looked at anything for Tuesday with Todd for a couple of days. Morning, morning, morning mindset. This is the April 5th of edition Friday. Friday. How are you doing today, folks? It's your first time here or your longtime listener, tuner, inner, viewer, all of that. Uh, here's what I need to know about from you. I need to know who you are, where you're from, what's in your cup, and how the weather is in your area. Um, it's like 40s, I think. It, w- it wasn't super cold out this morning. I will, I'm will. i down with that. It looks like we're turning the curve on that. So <sighs> crossing fingers, everything is fine there. We've got coffee in a cup, and it is Friday. Uh, and that you know, we'll talk about what Friday means for us here in the shop. Uh, but what are you really here for? We're here for a little, you know, morning mindset. What does that mean? We got to get you in the right mindset. What does that mean? Like, what, what does this mean? Well, at the end of the day, we want you to be successful. And the only way we can be successful is if you're successful and you hold yourself accountable. Us mostly being solopreneurs or people that are the, the, the man in charge on or the woman in charge of your shop. Who are you going to hold accountable? You know, who are you holding yourself accountable? We got to do it to yourself. The way that we do this is with the daily five, five things that we are going to accomplish today. Uh, and today our day is, uh, our day, our day is almost over. And, and <laughs> I'll talk about what that means in a second. But um, we've got shirts to press. We've got invoicing that needs done. We've got labels that need printed, social media posts. And then we've got meetings, meetings, meetings. So we'll be out of the office by uh, shortly after our second call today because we've got uh, a lunch meeting, an early afternoon meeting, and then uh, kind of a later afternoon meeting. So we've got three meetings going on today that are out of the shop. You know, I know one of them will be a sale. Um, one of them is an informational one, and another one will most likely be a sale. So we've got those rocking and rolling, and I'm pretty excited about it. We can talk more about it, of what we're doing, but I want to hear from you. You guys are the heart and soul of the show. You guys are the one that keeps us going. I do this basically to help me stay on track, but I, along the way, it's helped a lot of other people stay on track. So you know, I'm really proud of that fact that we we're able to help people stay on track. We're helping people you know, find worth in themselves and their business and, and overall just putting out those positive vibes, right? So let's check in and we'll see how people are doing. Darren, my friend, good morning to you. 31 and sunny in Topeka. We have not seen the sun yet. Uh, I am really worried about Monday. Uh, in the sun. Uh, there's a map that I saw this morning. I'm going to post, you know, we got, the, you know, the total eclipse, total eclipse, uh, uh, what it was the totality. We will get really close to it because we're not super far from the path, but I bet it's going to be cloudy. And that just really, really sucks. I just think of all the people that, you know, uh, all the things that have been planned around that and that, you know, clouds can ruin it all. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, nothing in the cup yet. Five things out the window, solving problems for Fred. Hey, Sometimes that's just what you do. You make your list and it goes out the window because other things come up. Uh, I've had a weekend or a week of thinking I was good with stuff and had to come back to it. Renee, good morning to you. 35, a great and damp in Chicagoland. Water in the bottle, coffee brewing. Mm-mm-mm. That coffee, I'm almost done. Uh, and now I got to debate if I'm going to get more coffee or switch to something else. What's up, Chuck? Good morning to you from 60 and sunny in Central Florida. Uh, Code Red Mountain Dew in the cup. Not too shabby. Barb, good morning to you from North Central Minnesota. It's a beautiful sunny day. You got sun. I don't have sun yet. 32 and headed to the mid-50s. Water in the cup. Ooh, that does sound nice, mid-50s. I think that's where we're supposed to land is mid-50s. I just want to double check. Uh, Yeah, because it's like 42. It feels like 37 right now. But for us, yeah, nope. We're not going to get to 50. It says 49 on here. So that this weekend, it looks like we're going to have sunny and 57 tomorrow. Yeah, so good times. Oh, and then next week, oh, next week, Monday. Yes, cloudy. That's what they're calling for Monday. Monday, cloudy. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Wednesday, scattered storms. Thursday, partly cloudy. Friday, sunny. And it looks like decent over the weekend, but we're in the 60s to 70s next week. Cannot wait for that. Barb, five things. Uh, quotes, customer drop-off and pickups this afternoon. Set up name, number, list for softball, bag, embroidery. Create website, blog post. Ooh, that's something. Um, Barb, remind me, if, you, if you're if you going to join us in our mentorship call here, remind me to ask about um, blog posts and things like that. Because uh, one of the things I'm using with ChatGPT, uh, I just, I'm, I'm just curious on that and how things are working with that. Um, so, yes, I'll uh, work on sewing projects. Linda, good morning to you. 
Sarah, good morning. 35 and mostly sunny there. Caramel iced coffee in the cup. She's fancy. Uh, Barb says, hi, Darren, Renee, Chuck, Linda, and Sarah. And morning, Barb, from Sarah. And uh, that and is that and is the most important part. Take action. Hold yourself accountable. Yeah. Um, we had some good discussion last night with people uh, because, you know, someone was looking at how you, I won't mention the people and I won't mention the product, but uh, the, they asked us for a quote on that uh, something and uh, they gave them a price and they're like, whoa, that's way too expensive. Now, I know that we're higher than some, but I know we're lower than some too. Uh, and I said, well, it's just not, we're too expensive. You're too cheap. And, you know, I, I was like, I need to make sure to post that because that's the truth of it is that I felt we were, we we're right where we need to be to cover our, you know, to cover us, to cover our overhead, to cover our payroll, to cover everything we want to do, to cover the business, to cover the materials. So I can't let, you know, customers dictate pricing. Now, sometimes our customers, you know, we'll work stuff, we'll bundle things together. Well, hey, if you get this, maybe we can throw in that. We can work a deal that way. Uh, but especially on a new customer, they, you haven't, this is going to sound bad, but that's part of business, right? It's not all sunshine and rainbows, and the customer is not always right. Uh, you know, it, it's it's been a long time since we could use that. Uh, but I can't let them dictate our pricing to tell us what they're going to pay. Uh, and like I said, on a, a new customer that isn't, proven themselves as a real customer yet and what do i mean by that our real customers we will you know we'll take care of on things you know hey you know there maybe there's a little wiggle room on this price maybe there's a little wiggle room on timeline these are ones that are consistently buying time after time after time while all customers matter and all sales no matter how small matter what what the biggest factor to me is we want to make sure to to take care of those customers you know we don't want to just be their printer we want to be their partner we want to help them succeed and when I look at it, you know, or, hey, you need this price to be this. Well, hey, I see you're charging, you know, $25 for a shirt. Does that mean you're going to charge 20 for it? Well, no. Well, why not? Because this is what I need to charge. Exactly. So, you know, stick firm to your pricing. Don't let them tell you this is what you need to charge. And if somebody tells you you're too expensive or your area can't afford it or things like that, there's, there is. There, there's people that have money that are willing to pay for your services, no questions asked. You just need to find the right customers for it. And that's something that we're really pushing on when we talked about goals on Wednesday is creating those three separate things. We have the retail side, we have the wholesale side, and then we have the mentorship side. So we're putting together marketing plans for each one of those individually so we can make sure that we're getting to the right people that we want to get to. Uh, and some of that is going to change along the way because maybe on the retail side, as we're focusing on this, we're going to add some other elements into it and be able to push and focus on those. Wholesale side, you know, we're really... We really need to make sure that people remember that we do signs and banners. They, you know, I've seen somebody twice in the last week, somebody's asked on my personal page about it, and I, I don't post enough that we do those simple things. Um, the the banners, the, the yard signs, flags, you know, the ones that know that we do flags, they owe flags from us. The ones that don't, don't because they don't know. My fault. So I need to make sure that I am putting the information out there for people. I need to make sure that I'm posting, you know, seven to 10 times a day easily across all of our platforms. I need to make sure that we're are doing, you know, our email blasts. I need to make sure that I am being way more consistent with the things. And it all falls on me. You know, if this fails, it's my fault. Nobody else's fault. I can't point the finger and say, oh, prices are so high. And, you know, we can't get it for this. And then I can't sell it for this. My fault. It's my fault because I'm not finding the right customers. It's my fault because I don't know my numbers and I'm not selling correctly. It's my fault because I'm not doing something right. And now businesses fail all the time because, you know, one, the, the biggest factor, they don't know their numbers. They have no clue what it actually costs them to be in business. So in a lot of things they're selling, they're losing money on. Um, business fail because you get burnt out. You're just tired of failing. You're tired of things not working. You're just tired and over it and, and you're done. Um, so, you know, how can we help with that? That's part of being in, you know, like our mentorship community. We're there, we're there for each other. We're there to help each other out. We're held to push you to the next level. We're there to listen when you have an issue. You know, overall, we are there for you. It's a great resource library. And, uh, you know, I have, I, I've, I've learned a lot from it. And, you know, the few short months it's been around. And I can't wait to learn more from it. I hope everybody that's in there is, is taking some out of it. If you're not taking $20 in value out of that mentorship group, that means you're not showing up for the live calls. You're not participating in the chats. You're not watching the replays and, and asking questions. You're just not participating. 
you know, if you're not taking 20 bucks in value from that, you're not participating. And if it's something you're interested in doing, I will post the link in here so that way you can get it because it's just over at patreon.com slash fatdadmc and it's all for the low, low price of $20 per month. So we'll put that link in there. We'll show it when I scroll down to it. But let's let's continue on and see, you know, how how everybody else is doing. Jeff, good morning to you. Uh, Northern Kentucky, nothing to drink today. Nothing? Nothing at all? Nothing at all, huh? Five things today. Nothing. I'm taking Good for you, Jeff. Good for you, Jeff. That is something that is, but I don't think enough people do for themselves, is to take time for themselves, take a, time, a day off, whether that's to do things you know, for yourself or for your family, to do nothing at all, just to take that time to realize that you run the business, the business doesn't run you. Get out there. Uh, Hi, Barb from Renee. Jenny checking in. Morning from Northern Indiana. It was 38 degrees and raining. Water in the cup. Oh, Linda, I got a question for you. Your book photos to send. Uh, take dog to the vet. Process team Little League photos. Get ready for tomorrow's Little League photo shoot and engrave. Um, Linda, number one on my list of things that I want to talk about was packaging and shipping. You being a photographer, you are the perfect person that I have for this. Um, we ordered prints, you know, and it's like 40 bucks or whatever for, you know, an eight by 10 photo that I don't have a problem with the price. You know, I know what everything goes into it. You know, so for them to send me a photo, you know, it's 40 bucks plus shipping, whatever it is. What I have a problem with is if you're going to charge $40 for, um, for to ship that to me, I would think you take better precautions to ship it. Now, Linda, if you were to send out an eight by 10, are you using like the white, uh, document thing, like the, the hard white, mailer you know those type of things you know like that cardboard thing are you just using an envelope uh, because we we got our stuff in the mail yesterday and it was just an envelope you know it said please do not bend on it but what did what exactly did the post person do it's bent it's crumbled so the pictures completely distorted in it uh destroyed in it and i think that really falls back on the um on the printer right like they know you're sending this you're playing to not bend you're not taking the, the time to the investment to put that in a rigid mailer so things like that don't happen and i was really disappointed because if you're spending 40 bucks on eight by ten photo a single eight by ten photo plus shipping i would like that to show up and you know not being that way so linda how do you ship yours and if you're shipping them in those regular white mailers that do that stop maybe so the people don't have that issues <laughs> um hi jenny from barb uh morning barb from jeff Hi, and Renee. Um, last I heard, Carbondale is supposed to be clear. I will post the map, and I think that might have... I'll show the map. I'll show the map. I'll show the map, and we'll see what it is. Um, because this is... Um, let's see. Okay. So here's this percentage of sky covered by clouds, 19 all the way from there. And here is Illinois. So, yeah. We're going to be covered because I'm right. I'm right there. I'm right there. If anybody wants to know where I live right there, come find me, come find me <laughs> right there. But yeah, we'll see how it all plays out. Good morning. First time here, Joshua, Texas. Uh, weather is beautiful and sunny. Well, a few Facebook user. See, that sounded bad. Facebook user. Uh, sometimes Facebook and streamer don't always play along. So if you were going to stay on Facebook, you just type in your name there. So that way I don't have to say F you. Uh, but what you can do is head over to fatdadlive.com. You can head over right here. That will get you into the YouTube side of things and we can see you. Otherwise, just stay there and put your name in so we don't become F you right there. Uh, Tim's checking in. Glad to make it through yesterday. Ooh, what happened yesterday? 37 over here. Uh, about to drink dew this morning. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Hi, Jeff from Barb. Hi, Tim from Barb. It's Teresa. Uh, no stream yard. Uh, 40. It feels like 33. Just finished up a bowl of potato soup. Ooh, that sounds good. Have keychains, buttons, plaques, and other things to do. Very nice. And I haven't had potato soup for a long time. And I, I did just get... Uh, kind of, you know, when you said that, I'm like, ooh, baked potato, a loaded baked potato soup. Maybe that sounds good this weekend. We're getting out of soup weather, but I think I could pull that off. Because we do have, we've got a crazy, crazy weekend, and we're going to go through this other stuff of what's been going on since Wednesday. Uh, other things that, you know, we've talked about, and, you know, a couple links for you guys to be able to, to help you out in your business. At least one for sure. Renee's five things. Doctor appointment. Shocking, I know. <laughs> Set up mock-ups for online store banking mileage file. And Tim's invoice for polos 
work on design one last time for Chipley store about to close work on crew shirts uh i didn't get to the other day a few hats for living witness and, and out to dinner for a buddy's dinner tonight very nice very nice then once again hey see tim's taking time for himself uh jenny's gonna fix the mamaki printer with tech Ooh, jenny record this process Record, record, record. As if you have a tech there, you ask as many questions as you can, and you record it all, so you have that there. Uh, purchasing cut vinyl, press shirts, set up for an event tomorrow. Ooh, what are you doing tomorrow, Jenny? Ooh, don't forget. And here's something else. You know, if are you doing anything to plan on to go live, to plan on taking pictures, make sure to do all that. You know, because that's even if you don't use it that day, it's all content that you can come back to use on. That buddy's birthday tonight. All right. Uh, Jerry, good morning to you. Cinnamon tea in the cup, 32 degrees in mid-Ohio. Staying out of the way of the guys installing my new kitchen floor. Very nice, Jerry. Uh, Darren had a meeting yesterday with ASI. What did you think? What did you think, Darren? Because I have, I feel, a better solution for ASI. And we will, um, if you go to swag.space, apply, tell my sent you. I think you'll find it much much better than ASI because it's free. Uh, it's a lot easier to navigate. And on top of that, we're going to have them in two weeks. Two weeks, we're going to have them on uh, Tuesday with Todd, and they're going to walk us through the process of how to sell promotional items the easy way, and the easy way is the free way. So check them out before you think about ASI. And Edward, thanks for checking in. Morning off from Springfield, Missouri. Nothing my cup waiting for my thunder laser bolt to be delivered today. Sadly, it'll have to sit on the porch for a few days until I can get some help moving it. Well, then you just get to stare at it, right? And think about all the things, the amazing things that you're going to do with it. Jerry's five things today. Uh, tweak embroidery design, run design, send proof to the customer, finish printing shirts, work on taxes. Yuck. But why don't we turn that yuck into a yeah? You know why you have to pay taxes? because you had sales. So think about that. Living alone sucks sometimes, but sometimes it doesn't, right? Sometimes it doesn't. I believe me, I've, I've thought, you know, what would happen if I was alone? What would I do? I would work the whole time. I would. That's what I would do. Like my nights consist of, the, last night I went uh, you know, really deep into the um, AI PRM. Yeah. I, and so I'm going to start using more of that. And so it was, you know, probably three hours of just watching different videos on that and how to do things and little by little. Uh, if you're interested in joining our mentorship group, like I said, go right here, patreon.com slash fat dad MC. When you're, your join date is your join date. So if you join on the 5th, you get from today to next year on the 4th. And that's your billing cycle for it. So you don't have to wait to the first of the month to do it. We do have calls multiple times throughout a week. Currently, uh, we have calls on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, right after this at 9.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. And they're live. You can ask all your questions in there. They're recorded so you can go back and watch it. There's a resource center in there. There's different things in marketing. There's different things on, on each What's the thing I want to eat each method that you can use for decoration? Uh, there's things in there that, you know, they're like, I, I find myself in the embroidery one all the time and I don't do any embroidery. I just love seeing your guys' work and seeing the way you know, that you talk about different things. And I love it. If you Facebook, order, Facebook user, good morning to you. That's right. Heavy mailer from your line. That's what I thought. I would assume that this is how everybody, you know, especially in the photo world would be sending it, but nope. Uh, I'll show when we get on the call today, I'll show you what they sent. And I just, I just can't believe it for the cost of what we paid for that. And that's how it shows up. Uh, how many people got calls yesterday asking, can I get like 200 shirts for the eclipse by Saturday? I got two myself. I did not get any. We had something on um, glasses and we're still going to see if we can pull it off by Monday for them to get them delivered. But that was about it. T town. You're right. Melanie's laughing at him. <laughs> right. I mean, I can make it happen. I can make anything happen, but that's going to be a lot, a lot of it. Oh, Jeff, we just have to drive 15 miles west and we're fully in it. Sweet. You know, we got a little ways to drive, but we'll just be fine with where we're at in it. The shadows are the coolest thing. You know, it just looks like craziness. I mean, that line here, though, not the best, but right at the line, seeing it pretty good. I heard as long as we just got to keep the clouds out of it. Good morning, Facebook user from sunny, or Surrey, I thought it was sunny, Virginia, Surrey, Virginia. Thanks for joining us. Uh, and we are doing a hat bar at a horse and pony tag swap. So I learned uh, from, who did I learn from on the, the horse and pony tag shop, um, tag swap? 
Um, I learned from somebody and now I forgot. I've forgotten both parts of it, but I'm pretty sure I got a sneeze coming. So if I stop real quick, that's why. I'm on the fence. I'll have to check them out. Check out swag.space before ASI. ASI, you know, is a paid thing. And the, the biggest thing is if it's not your, um, oh, nope, I thought it was there. We'll see. I'm going to get, <coughs> yeah, I knew it was coming. Uh, one of, uh, you know, you're paying for ASI. So that's something to think about. You're paying for it. And if it's not something you are fully 100% committed to doing, you are going to fail at it. And why do I say that? It's because there's so much that goes into that, especially trying to source products and what to look for, because not only are you trying to figure out what product you want to get, because you have all these vendors that you're, ser- yeah, that you're uh, searching through, you're trying to find the, you know, the production times and lead times. So you want to find, you know, make sure you have that and all of them are different. The other thing too, is the shipping side of it is you're not hundred percent sure what it's going to cost to ship things out. Uh, and so that, that creates it because you, now you want to get stuff as close to you as possible because of shipping swag.space, get in there, talk to Joe, tell him Todd from fat dad sent you. I will put that. I will put the link in it right now. I will go grab it and I will put that here. Uh, and like I said, they are going to, uh, they're going to come on Tuesday with Todd here in two weeks. Yeah, that's right. Because we have um, Monday, Tuesday, excuse me, Tuesday, we've got Bob coming in talking marketing. Uh, and then the following week, we have the, we have the, the um, promotional items. And that's when we have the guys in from a swag space. And they were going to, uh, you know, talk to us about what they do in that. I have put the comments, I have put the link in the comments when I get to them, I will put it on there. But it is, um, it's a, I'm telling you, it's totally worth it to, to do. And that it's something that you know, can really help your business. I would do that over ASI. Uh, town, uh, I just felt a little overwhelmed by the end of the day for some reason. Maybe because I moved my oldest in your own place last night, but business things going through my head, trying to juggle them both. T-Town, you're not alone. They, we all have that struggle, especially, you know, when there's a lot going on, you know, business and you're in it, you know, in that capacity of you've got two different businesses, right? You got the apparel side, you've got the tent side, you've got a family you're trying to maintain and take care of. I feel you, man. Hey, hey, you know what that vents for? Just anytime anything comes up, put it in there. That's, that's what, you know, just get it off your chest. That's what we're here for. Well, awesome. Edward, you've already been thinking of all the wonderful things that you can do. Uh, Darren says, uh, I'm alone all of the time, and that's uh, what I do most of the time is work. Yeah, I'll throw on, you know, it, and it's it's so much stuff where it's somebody showing something, trying to learn something. Uh, I feel I'm a pretty big learner where I like to learn new things. I like to learn how things are done, even if it's not something that I personally do. I know somebody that's doing it so I can get a better understanding of the process. I really like that. And there is the link to uh, swag.space. Go to app.swag.space slash sign up and go there and um, and just and just do it. Uh, uh, just go out there and 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 check it out. Right? You can schedule a call with them. They'll give you you know it, that's the best way to do it. And bless you, Corey's over there sneezing. If you Facebook user, good morning to you. Uh, tell them, oh, I typed it out in the vent and then <laughs> I just I, then I just asked the tumbler <laughs> what? And then I just asked the tumbler, what do you have like a tumbler that you shake? You know, should I? It's like the magic eight ball. What do you got with that? Um, other things this week. So whether you care or not, it is WrestleMania weekend. If you're in the Philly area, you know it is because that is all over the place. Uh, Hudson before school today has planned out our day and our weekend. So that, that's exciting to see him excited about that uh, because we have family night at the school tonight. Uh, so we have, uh, it's actually movie night. So we are watching Leo at the school and uh, doors open at five 30. And so that'll go there, but then it was planning out the rest of it. So, uh, you know, he's pretty excited about that things going on, make sure we have popcorn, make sure to have fun. So really kind of looking forward to that, you know, that father, son, bonding time over some wrestling which is which is a good thing you know wrestling's cool again so we can we can talk about it and not feel like you're you know you're some kind of dork which i am i'm fine with that i'm fine with being the dork so wrestlemania big weekend this weekend two night show uh and it's we're we're all about rocking that uh, i am going to put a link i got asked uh, about i posted a picture of a tumblr that we did and i don't even i know i don't have the tumblr available to me um I know I probably have the picture available. Let me go back and I, it'll make more sense if I 
if I show the picture of it, because then it just makes more sense on what I'm talking about and why somebody questioned me. And I'm like, oh, I, I don't know. I ran it through this. This is what we got. It worked out well, and I am excited with it. So that's why we did it. So I'm going to find it here. There's the picture for it. And it might, nope, that's not the picture for it. I got to find the other picture for it because that one looks a little more hard to read. The other one is a little more understanding with it, and we have it. So uh, here, let me pull this here. I, I got asked on this when we engrave that, how we have the different shadings in there, how, you know, you can see it on one side or the other, how it is there. And, and I said, we just ran it through image, uh, image R. So if you're doing anything with engraving, uh, I would highly recommend to go check that out. Uh, because of you know just just because uh, the way that the way that it's done, uh, it is one of those things that if you're doing any kind of laser work, whether it's a diode, a CO2 fiber, there is a lot of options in there for you, and it was uh, it was it was an awesome. It's super easy to do. Uh, I will recommend if you are using a diode laser. When you select your material, you have a material list that's there. Uh, you want to, I think there, there's like there's like four, five different things. I know like one CO2, but you don't see anything that says diode. Click Norton, and that's with an N, not Morton. That's Norton. You'll see it with an N, Norton under the material type. But you can walk through, you can see all this, make some samples of it. Go check it out because it is free. It is awesome to use. Uh, and that is uh, Norton. That is image slash r.com so you can right click copy paste go there check it out uh, and you know you're able to do pretty cool things like that uh and renee says good morning Corey, and bless you you know she's getting stuff done because like i said we got a busy day oh the tumblr question got it got it um loved leo have you seen it they've seen it multiple times yeah multiple times that's why it was even debating last night if we were if i was going to go and hudson was going to go because he was going to miss smackdown and he thought, well, I've already seen it. We can stay home and watch SmackDown. And he went back and forth, and he really battled himself. But then he had planned out the day that when we get home from that, we can finish watching SmackDown. And then it goes into the Hall of Fame. And then tomorrow morning, there is the NXT PLE. And we can watch that. Then we can go back and watch the SmackDown part that we missed. Then we can go and we can watch the Bray Wyatt documentary. And then from there, then it should be time for WrestleMania pre-show. So he's got it planned out. And I'm, I'm down with that. Uh, what? Uh, same, Sarah. What did Sarah say? What did Sarah say? Uh, he was, uh, he was, what? I don't even know what that word is. I don't see, I don't see what Sarah said somewhere. Where did Sarah say anything? And what is the cur, cur, curmudgeon? I don't even know what that is. I don't know what that is. Uh, Nani, good morning to you. Uh, Coastal Georgia. Thanks for joining us from Coastal Georgia. Uh, other things uh, that we got in there is, um, Details will be coming forth, but there is going to be a Sparkle Expo cruise at the end of August. Uh, we are being uh, one of the sponsors for it, and Corey will be on the cruise. Uh, so if you are into blinging things, if you are into crystallizing things, hand placement of stones, uh, this is going to be the event for you. They said it is at the end of uh, it is at the end of August. Um, the Crystal Ninja is the one who is putting it on. Uh, you know, we got into conversations with Kelly, and we're going to sponsor part of it. So, you know, really excited about that because, you know, that's stepping outside of our comfort zone, uh, uh, but not outside of Corey's wheelhouse because, you know, she does quite a bit of hand stoning, you know, like because everybody just needs a a lamp like that. So, you know, pretty, uh, pretty cool, pretty exciting. And we said, yeah, let's go ahead and, and be a part of it. So that's coming at the end of August. Details will be coming, you know, will be coming soon. Uh, by coming soon here within the next, you know, couple of days. I'm thinking by Monday we'll have everything and we'll start promoting that uh, for you. So uh, it is a, a cruise through the Bahamas. And so you've got you've got a lot of we've got a stuff to do. The classes every day. I think the day at sea is like a. Uh, an all-day event for it. You're going to learn lots. You're going to get uh, it's pretty cool swag. So look for more information on that. That is um, that's coming up uh, into August. So we'll get more information to everybody about that. But 
Thanks. It's something different, something new we're going to try. Uh, and, you know, when it's, it's friends of ours, uh, you know, that ha are putting something on, we're always there to support our friends and do whatever we can, you know, within reason to be able to, I'm not murdering anybody for you. I'm not saying I won't help you, you know, dispose. I won't say I'll help you dispose of the body because that'll probably make things worse. But I'll be there for you to tell and then I can tell the police on you because I'm not an accessory to murder. No, no murder here. Uh, Sarah loved the movie. Leo. Oh, the, the lizard was a grumpy old man. Curmudgeon. Oh, see, I like they've watched it a ton. I I couldn't tell you the last time I watched a movie. Actually, I can tell you the last time I watched a movie. And that was because it was last Friday or Saturday. I don't know what night it was. We we're just I was flipping through stuff and um, Transformers Rise of the Beast was on. I hadn't seen it yet. And started watching a little. And then guess what? Everybody decides to come in the living room and carry on and carry on and carry on. So I missed a good like three quarters of it. And in the midst of carrying on, they start asking questions about a movie. And I was like, if you would just shush, 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 and watch, you would have these questions answered. Instead, you want to do. So it's not even worth me watching movies with people that don't understand what's going on with it. Because you spend half the movie explaining things. Like... Corey's too far gone to be able to watch an Avengers movie unless she goes and watches it. We can rewatch it from the beginning so she can see everything because I'm, it, it's just too hard to explain. Well, who's this character and who's this one? Where did this guy come from? What's going on here? There's a lot to go on. It's just like, you know, Harry Potter. I, I don't know. I don't know anything. I don't question it because I've never watched it. I'm just not going to. I mean, I would have to go back from the beginning to watch it to understand what people's fascination with it. Not my cup of tea right now. Oh, and he tells, oh, my, my expedition that my daughter's driving that uh, I didn't want to put money into anymore. Front brakes locked up uh, <laughs> over that thing. The XBs are not the, the expeditions of, I mean, since I think the first gen, like that 97 to 01, that was a legit one. Uh, and that was when the explorers were still legit. Uh, after that, it just seemed like explorers and expeditions had nothing but issues nothing nothing but issues i mean my whatever third gen fourth gen explorer that was man it was like two thousand dollars for an axle it was just it was just not fun at all not not fun at all okay what else do we got um we went through you know packaging and shipping i asked you guys about that we got sparkle expo that we talked about that's coming up at the end of august look for information on that it is wrestlemania weekend so don't expect to hear from me, which traditionally once Friday hits, um, you know, that's it, once Friday night hits, I, I'm not the best about answering messages or things like that when I'm not in the business office. Why? Because we, we got stuff, uh, we got stuff going on. Right. And I, if I answer things then I gets forgotten about by the time we get back on Monday. So, you know, maybe that's the same way with you image, uh, image, slash, image dash R. I got to the link for that. Yes. The Ford Explorer era. Yeah. Yeah. And like before that, I had the model. So I, besides the newest model, I have owned every uh, model era of the Explorer. Uh, the first and second gens were my favorite. Uh, the second gen, I mean, I spun a bearing in it and that was just, you know, and it had oil chains that everything. It just, it was its time. That first one was good. Second one, yeah. You know, third, yeah, I just, so I, you know, I'm a glutton for punishment. Apparently, that's why I haven't bought one for a while. <laughs> uh, Jerry says, "Me too." At Darren, uh, being alone all day is what I'm used to. I get tickled when I'm around people. I get a little. I get. I have fun when I'm around people, but there's times where I just want to work. Like it's just time to work, and I can just work when nobody's around. No bothers. Just get into it and go after it. Working. Uh, meeting wise today, we should have some some stuff and and lunch meeting. Lunch meetings are always fun. Uh, there, I, we still have yet to determine where that lunch meeting is. There's two restaurants that I'm waiting to hear back which one we're actually going to do. Uh, one is a little more. One's more of a deli, and the other one's more of like a, a fun a fun place. So we'll see we'll see where we end up. Stay tuned for pictures from that today, and it should be it should be a good day all the way around there. Other than that, um, mentorship group. You know, hey, get in there, get in our community. We'd love to have you be a part of it. Only 20 bucks a month. There's no reason for you not to join for 20 bucks a month. And if you are not getting value, if you are in it and you feel that you're not getting value, reach out to me. You know, if you're not getting what you feel out of it, let me know and I'll see what I can do to help you. But, you know, click here, right click, copy paste, 20 bucks a month. We have calls on that. We'll have a call here in less than 30 minutes. So you get signed up you still have time to join. 
and this one of the things we're gonna push more. Uh, this weekend, there is let's see, what do we do? We got any no sales, no nothing on this weekend, but DTF UV DTF printing. Most everything is going out within two days right now. So if you place an order today, I if you place an order today, it should be shipping out Monday for you, no problem. You should place an order over the weekend, even. I think we'll be able to still get everything out on Monday. It just depends on what comes in. So get those orders in. Uh, we've got bundles that we're working on. Uh, let me let me go back to my notes so I can tell you bundle ideas. Ones that are still coming this month. The next one is a 420 friendly bundle because we got asked about that. Uh, we got asked about a, a nurse bundle because uh, nurse week is coming up on it. Cinco de Mayo, softball, baseball, soccer, Mother's Day, sunflowers, teachers, Memorial Day, uh, mental health, ALS. These are all on the list of bundles and images that people wanted. So we're going to get into creating those for you. Uh, until next time, you guys have an amazing day. We'll be back here Monday, Monday with Morning Mindset at 8.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. Until then, peace, love, press on. We will see you guys next time. Thank you.